Finally, around a hundred sperms manage to reach the egg. Yet the race is not yet over because only one sperm will be allowed inside the egg. So another race begins. There is one particularly important obstacle confronting the sperms. This is a hard protective layer surrounding the egg, which kills off any unwanted microorganisms that may approach it. It is also extremely difficult to penetrate. In order to overcome this obstacle, special systems again are created in the sperm. Underneath the armor in the sperm's head, it houses secret weapons which it has so far concealed. These are tiny dissolving enzyme sacs. These little sacs make a hole in the protective layer by dissolving it and the sperms can then enter this layer. While the sperm is moving ahead inside the layer, the armor at the end gets worn away eventually falling apart. The falling apart of the armor is part of the perfectly functioning plan because thanks to this, the second set of enzyme sacs inside the sperm can emerge. These enable the sperm to overcome the last obstacle facing it, in other words, the piercing of the eggshell. You are now looking at pictures taken by an electron microscope. The sperm has red colored armor. This armor melts away and the sperm enters the egg through its shell. The flawless conception in the coming together of sperm and egg does not end here. As soon as the sperm reaches the eggshell, yet another miracle takes place. The sperm suddenly abandons the tail which has brought it all this way. This is essential because if the sperm did not do so, the tail, which is constantly in motion, would enter the egg cell and destroy it. The discarding of the tail section resembles the way a rocket might jettison its spent fuel tanks on leaving the atmosphere having no further use for them. But how can the tiny sperm make such a fine calculation? In order for the sperm to be able to make this calculation, it has to know that it has come to the end of its journey and therefore has no further need for its tail. But a sperm is an unconscious biological machine which has no intelligence and is not able to perceive its surroundings. God who creates sperm created it together with a system that enables the tail to fall off at just the right moment. The sperm abandoning its tail pierces the egg and deposits the load, in other words the chromosomes, through the hole it opens up. The process of the carrying of the genetic data in this way comes to an end. As a result of the harmonious functioning of hundreds of different and independent systems, genetic data regarding the man's body reaches the egg cell. As we have seen, even just the union of sperm and egg is only possible thanks to a perfect planning and design, leaving no room for any coincidence. Even if people are not aware of it, the intelligence and planning seen in every part of these events are clear proofs that human beings are created by God.